Jalen Brown continues to help the Boston Celtics dominate thus far in the NBA season, but he's not only a star guard for the Boston Celtics on the court, He's the vice president of the NBA Players Union off the court. And Jalen Brown doesn't hold his tongue for nobody, especially when it comes to his former teammate, Kyrie Irvin, who's been indefinitely suspended by the Brooklyn Nets for reposting a movie that had some anti-Semitic tropes within it. Jalen Brown didn't hold back not only airing out the Nets, but their owner, Joe Sy, recently. Sy didn't say that the organization was working together to get Kyrie back on the floor. He said that Kyrie had more work to do. And our society has more work to do, including Joe Sy. It's 2022. It takes 10 minutes to see who these businesses, owners, corporations, etc., who they're associated with, who they're doing business with, and who they are affiliated with. I think what Jalen Brown is saying right there is uh, if you, if you want to hurt Joe Sy, hurt him in his pockets, I think is what he's saying. Don't quote me on that. I don't want to misquote that, brother. He went on to say it's still an indefinite suspension. He's already missed five or six games. So how many games is he going to continue to miss? Is it another situation going on there? Is it a larger situation going on there? Is it a larger conversation that needs to be had? We've yet to find out. I think it's uncharted territory. I think it's no distinction between what somebody says versus what somebody posts. And I guess that's what they are trying to figure out. The terms that the Brooklyn Nets instituted for his return, I voiced my discomfort. So let me be clear about my stance. I am somebody that does not agree with what Kyrie Irving posted. And I want to be clear with you guys. I think he's an awful teammate. I've said that time and time again. I thought he should have got a slap on the wrist for being dumb and posting something stupid. If it had the anti-Semitic tropes that people are saying, I thought it was a dumb thing to post. But, I mean, all right, he needs to be playing basketball now. Period. Like, I said what I said. I didn't agree with Kyrie. That doesn't mean I want the brother suspended for indefinitely. I don't like indefinite suspensions for things that are already done. Like, it's not like there's an ongoing action. Okay, like, M.A. Udoka of the Boston Celtics was indefinitely suspended, right? Um, it's, it's, it's at least this year, but it's still indefinite. I didn't like that one because at the end of the day, whatever he did, we think it's done, right? Like, we think it's done. Kyrie Irving is done. He posted something. It's, it was dumb. It's done. Indefinite suspensions to me are things that are ongoing. If a person got a legal case coming down the pipeline, something along the lines of that, where well, we need to have time figure out, like life's got to figure out what we do with this person and their future with this organization, whatever. Kyrie action, it happened. It's over now. Let him get back to the court. Let him get back to the Brooklyn Nets. You pay this man a lot of money. I honestly think what's happening right now is the Brooklyn Nets are kind of punishing Kyrie Irving for not being the basketball player that they've signed. It's been an absolute disaster. Before this, it's been a disaster. It's a disaster. This is why Kevin Durant wanted to be away from this team this offseason. This, this thing is a disaster. It's a mess. This is why James Harden wanted to be away from this team. It's an absolute mess. It is a mess of an organization, and we're finding out that it, it seemingly ain't just Kyrie Irving a part of the mess. It doesn't look like the ownership and, and general manager group, is they're handling these things the right way. This is a mess. Kyrie Irving not playing basketball right now. It's a mess. He needs to be out there on the court or at least available to play. Now, if the Brooklyn Nets decide to not play Kyrie Irving because they don't believe he makes sense from a basketball fit right now, that's different. But him just being out because they don't know when to bring him back or they don't believe he's done enough or, you know, and even speaking of that part of it, right, I thought two things about that that list of things Kyrie Irving needed to do to get back on the court. I don't like that there was a list at all, right? And I also don't like that that list leaked out. To me, that's trying to put some egg on Kyrie Irving's face. I think that's ridiculous. And for anybody that out there that's on the side of Kyrie Irving through this thing all together, you're giving them more ammo to be 100% real with you. You're giving them more ammo to see, look at what they're doing to him, bro. They're trying to castrate him in front of the public. Like, I get it. A suspension is what I – he should have got suspended to me for that dumb comment, that dumb post. And he had been asking for it for the last couple of years, which is the way he had been treating the league. He, he feels like he's better than basketball. He think he's Muhammad Kyrie. I, 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 at the, in the same token, that don't mean I think the brother's livelihood needs to be suspended indefinitely for a stupid thing. And like Jalen Brown said – 
We got to figure this thing called social media out. There needs to be regulations on this stuff, man. Government regulations. I'm tired of us acting like social media is not a part of our real world. You know what's happening to Kyrie right now? Something he posted on social media is affecting his real world bottom line. He's missing out on money. He's not playing basketball. He's not at work right now. We got to we gotta combine the two and realize, is social media everything about the real world? No. But is there a lot of social media that is the reality of this world and, and like real world stuff? Yes. We got to figure out what does it mean to post something versus like repost something to put, put a link up with no context. Like we have to decipher these things and what they mean because millions upon millions of dollars are being affected and impacted by this stuff. Nike is out of business with Kyrie. And even that part of it, with Phil Knight doing interviews saying the relationship between him and Kyrie is over, to me, a lot of this stuff feels like I haven't liked Kyrie for quite some time. By the way, he's given everybody a lot of reasons not to care for him. But I feel like now they're using this instance to say, got him. Finally something we can get ourselves away from him with. And I don't know what happens with Brooklyn and Kyrie and, and or Nike and Kyrie when, and when the dust settles, but it feels like we're heading towards – Divorces with both.